Hey you guys, I'm Katie Krause. I'm Oscar Gracie. And I'm Kristen Gill. And we are here to talk about all things Taylor Swift, but I want to put out there, we built this wall before we knew we were ever going to do this on camera. We understand the level of crazy, but that is how we are. We are massive, insane Swifties. I've met Taylor. You've met Thank Taylor. Thank God, yeah. I met Taylor in 2007, so this goes back, guys, way back. I mean, that's over a decade ago. You've spent time with her dad. I've spoken with her mom. I have a crazy Stan account. <laughs> <laughs> so this is supposed to be so fun. We are also going to talk about some of your guys' fan theories that we've dug up. But I want to start with this. Just take a look. With 1989, I love this album so much that I think it would be doing a real disservice to this album to try and copy it the next time around. Right. I think it's going to have to be something very, very different creatively. Do you feel like that goes with this theory mm. that this was the album after 1989 or not? I don't know. I feel like what, what she said, it kind of tees up that she wanted to make something like Reputation, something completely different. Exactly. So maybe Which that Reputation just was. yeah. So I think that might debunk it. Yes, but I also feel like she might have been sitting on something because to create this crazy world that we're diving into <laughs> oh, right you now. Mean this? Yes. Our brain. Um, <laughs> there had to have been something that she bounced off of and was like, "I've got to be able to tie it into this yeah. and this." I don't understand how you cannot fangirl about that. We're gonna talk about our new theories first of all. Number one, the hearts. Guys, if you look, she has captioned hearts on various new Instagram pictures. Does it mean I heart? That's the 14. Ooh. See, there's something going on because even when she announced her record label swap, um, she had the heart stamp on her eye. And I saw that and I was like, what is my little sis up to? And mm -hmm. then <laughs> coming back with all these freaking heart captions, something's going on. So now, I mean, I was made a fool just a week ago. So We were all made you know, fools of. <laughs> but you know, I'm ready to put it on the line again and say, like, maybe this means the song will be something like Heartbeat or something like that. Ooh. I don't know. That's just what I'm saying okay. now. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's I heart. I'm getting an announcement like at iHeart. And it could all be tied in. This like, ties into to, like, her concerts when she does the heart. What a throwback. So yeah. like maybe it is iHeart and it's a concert related something or who knows, I don't know. Yeah. This and is she just loves so... an award show like reveal. Yes. yes. Like with Bad Blood that was premiered at an yeah. award show. It delicate premiered at an award show. She uses those award shows, man. She likes to take them over. She's smart, <laughs> that one. Okay, next theory. Books, chapters, oh, yeah. pages. I mean, she's referenced so many times. Like, I can't wait for you guys to see my next chapter. I'm even more excited about the next chapter. Thank you. She yeah. loves a good book. Do we think maybe, I, I kind of think it could be pages. Like, she's a writer. She's written two essays seven mm -hmm. days apart, or they've come out seven days apart, all about, like, how much she appreciates writing. Yeah. <laughs> could it be book themed? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, could the album be Let's not forget so the story of us, what an iconic bop that was. <laughs> and even when she was younger, she, like, says that she used to write books all the time. Yeah. And, like you said, she's referenced books so much, and she's always seen her life in these chapters in a different book. So I could totally see her coming through. I'm saying eternal, but that's only because of a fan theory that I heard. <laughs> and now I'm like, my mind is blown. OK, so this is why I am so inspired by the palm and eternal theory. Speak Now Stand 13 is also all about the palm theory. And this is what they say. They noticed that there was embroidery on her dress in May, in May of 2018, on this pink dress at the Billboard Awards that says eternal. And palms mean eternal life. And then Larissa Sophie is also about the palm trees, but she says the placement in the photo she posted on Instagram means that she's coming out with the album on 4-12-2019. Which, you guys, is really just over a month away. And Jaya Bia thinks that the album is going to come out on Easter because the old Taylor is not dead. <gasps> She so good. Dead. She so does it all the time. Good. And lastly, I have to call out TS Updates and Why, who we've been following on Twitter forever, who noticed that on Taylor's YouTube, it says that there are 245 videos, but actually there's only 243. So are there two unlisted hidden videos already uploaded to her page? What's up, so? Just ready to drop. <laughs> Guys, Wing. I'm done. That's it. You can't possibly be that surprised all the time. But here's what we do know. So Taylor has kind of hinted in these two new L covers about what the new sound is going to be. And I think one of my favorite things that she said is that you don't have to be sad or heartbroken to find inspiration. Like mm -hmm. she said, you can find inspiration and be happy at the same time. So I think that's our biggest clue, mm -hmm. right? 
Because she's been asked, like, from the beginning of her career, what are you going to do when you finally, like, Fall find in love, love and get married and have kids? Like, how yeah. are you going to write songs? Yeah. So this is the album where we're finally going to get that. I and have that put to the test. I can't Iconic. Wait. But um, let me get into how crazy, like, you got me with all of this. Because... I'm a super fan and like I cry when she comes out on stage. I'm the fan that's crying. You know, I'm sure you guys are too. But like I'm crying right now. Last <laughs> night, yeah. Last night my husband and I, he's a singer-songwriter guy, and we went through ASCAP and BMI and downloaded Max Martin and Jack Antonoff's song history of what the songs that they've licensed. The FBI is here. We yes. were that crazy. Just so you know, nothing is out yet. Confirmed nothing is on their pages. Thank yeah. God we have someone on the inside. <laughs> so before we wrap up, very quickly, final album prediction for this week. Eternal. Okay. I'm going pages or something book related. <laughs> I'm sticking with Heartbeat. Wait, I love that. Heart. The throwback. We're bringing it back. Let us know what you guys think though in the comments on all things social media. We want to keep doing this. We've worked really just too hard not to. We're going to keep <laughs> adding to this. So we'll see you next time.